canned corned beef might not be a go-to ingredient, but for every culinary catastrophe, there's a glimmer of gastronomical hope that transforms this back-of-the-pantry staple into a mouth-watering masterpiece. If you think about it, a lot of good things come in pairs. Two heads are better than one, the old saying goes, and it's true for food, too. Take, for example, the following dynamic food duos. Cake and ice cream, peanut butter and jelly, milk and cookies, and of course, bacon and eggs. In this case, make it canned corned beef and eggs. This protein-packed breakfast meat is arguably best served with a fried egg. Even better, opt for corned beef hash with an egg on top. And honestly, keep the bacon too. The running yolk in a fried egg acts like a creamy sauce and helps cut the saltiness of the canned meat. If you want to get fancy, add a poached egg instead of a fried one for the same effect. You might be wondering if it's suitable to sub in a scrambled egg instead. And the answer is no. Why? For one thing, canned corned beef has a specific texture. A scrambled egg doesn't have much texture going for it and can add an unappetizing mush factor to an already soft meal. Don't treat yourself so harshly if you haven't been eating as well as you'd like to be. If there's anything we've learned from the past few years, it's that we should celebrate every day and that self-care is not an indulgence, it's a necessity. So you're eating meat from a can. So what? Use your creative genes and make something of it. Don't just be plain and mundane. One of the worst things you can do is leave your corned beef totally untouched. Transform your canned meal into something you truly want to eat. Let those fantastic savory smells waft from your kitchen and let everyone know there's a meal on the way they're going to want to eat. It doesn't even have to be anything major either. Even adding some simple herbs will really lift your canned corned beef to another level. They can be dried or fresh herbs. Just remember that dried herbs are more concentrated in flavor, so a little goes a long way. Uh, I like it better than tuna helper myself, don't you, Clark? You're the gourmet around here, Ed. Canned corned beef is considered to be a breakfast food by many. And this mighty meaty meal has tons of potential to be a transformative breakfast experience because it's truly more versatile than you might think. Almost any savory morning meal can most likely benefit from adding or substituting the salty, fatty goodness of canned corned beef. For example, if you're a lover of breakfast tacos or burritos, just fry up some canned corned beef and substitute it in place of the protein. If you can't start the day off without a nice, hearty omelet, consider adding some canned beef, sauteed tomatoes, and feta or goat cheese to your next egg wrap. What about adding some canned corned beef to a frittata or quiche? Or if you're going to a brunch picnic, consider making some crescent rolls filled with canned corned beef, scrambled eggs, and gooey cheese. Butter is delicious, but it does have its time, place, and purpose. Butter is great when used for browning or sauteing, but it might not be the best fat for getting a good crisp. Masterclass notes that butter has an incredibly low smoke point or burning point, which means that your chances of scorching your beloved breakfast are much greater. Plus, using butter to fry your canned corned beef is also a way to add unnecessary fats and calories to your diet. And it's really not needed. Canned corned beef already contains fat that will cook down and help with the cooking process. But if you really feel the need to add something, Opt for refined oils or those with a high smoke point, like canola or vegetable oil. Still stuck on the buttery flavor? Then check out clarified butter or ghee instead, but save the butter for where it belongs. A stack of wheat cakes with lots of melted butter and maple syrup. If you've recently been invited to a party, picnic, or other social gathering, it would only be natural to bring some tiny finger foods to show off your cooking prowess and appreciation, right? That being said, canned corned beef is probably not high on your list of go-to items to feed the party masses. But it should be. It's a relatively cheap ingredient to buy in bulk, and it can save you time and money if you can think outside the box. Remember, imagination is key. Hiding canned corned beef inside a fried wonton wrapper is such a great and sneaky way to transform it. Everyone loves egg rolls, so why wouldn't a corned beef and cabbage egg roll work? In today's foodie world, it really is all about creative food fusion. You can also try taking a spin on another finger food classic and use canned corned beef, along with some cheese and taco seasoning, as a filling for some homemade taquitos. 
you're sure to be the life of the party. Hey there! Perhaps one of the reasons why you don't like cooking canned corned beef is because it inevitably ends up clinging to the pan so tightly that nothing can break its eternal embrace. It's no fun once you've got a blackened, burnt mess to deal with. Lucky for you. This issue could be as simple as switching up the pan that you're using. The best way to properly fry up your canned corned beef, and pretty much any other food that you want to get perfectly crisp, is by cooking it in a cast iron skillet. The durable pan can stand up to the super high temperatures you need for rendering fat, frying meats, and more. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can opt for a Teflon or nonstick pan to ensure an easy cleanup. But steer clear of stainless steel cookware, as it's very easy for your corned beef to get stuck to the bottom while cooking. That's a recipe for disaster. Sometimes making meat-based soups and stews can take more than a few extra steps, and that can end up taking more time than you actually have. Using canned corned beef to replace not only the protein element, but also any extra salt, is a great way to use up that magical mystery beef and cut your cooking time down. Think of it like a foodie win-win situation. Carne beef is Puerto Rican stewed corned beef and calls for using the canned version specifically. At its most basic, no-frills level, this homestyle stew incorporates the canned meat, potatoes, sweet corn, tomato sauce, sofrito, all-purpose adobo seasoning, as well as sazon seasoning. This is an incredibly simple dish to make and takes less than 20 minutes. Serve it with avocados and white rice, or get really traditional and fry up some sweet plantains. If you happen to have a carrot or two, a few ribs of celery, an onion, and some pearl barley, you can always substitute another grain or rice-like pasta too. Try making some vegetable beef and barley soup, or even minestrone soup with canned corned beef. Or maybe crisp up some corned beef and add it to a corn or potato chowder. The creaminess will dull the sodium, and the crunch will bring some nice texture to your bowl of comfort food. Science states that there is no downside to eating a nice rainbow assortment of fruits and vegetables. And while produce of pretty much all colors can be touted as having anti-inflammatory properties, each individual variety benefits a different bodily component. Another great thing about fruits and veggies is that you can't really have too many of them. The more, the merrier. When it comes to canned corned beef, a dish filled with vegetables will help tone down the sodium level and give your mushy meat some much-needed textural and flavor variety. If you've been eating plain canned corned beef, it's time to liven it up with some color. If you're a little weary of creating your own flavor combinations, just start small and add some potato, onion, and an herb like basil or rosemary. Mushrooms are another great option. Then try roasting some Brussels sprouts along with your crispy meat or make a melange of roasted vegetables and serve them alongside your protein saute. Don't forget to marvel at all the healthy colors. Although canned corned beef is a 100% American foodie creation, that hasn't stopped it from circumnavigating the globe and unsuspectingly plopping itself down at the tables of different international cuisines. In Jamaica, canned corned beef is called bully beef. The canned corned beef is cooked with bell peppers, onions, garlic, thyme, and scotch bonnet peppers, and served alongside starchy foods like boiled green bananas or rice. The Chamorro, the indigenous peoples of Guam and the Mariana Islands, are particularly fond of corned beef with cabbage and onions. This classic comfort dish incorporates canned corned beef, sautéed onion, thinly sliced green cabbage, and sometimes green beans or eggplant. Canned corned beef also lends itself quite well to the humble and filling casserole-type dish, cottage pie. Cottage pie is pretty much the same as its sibling, shepherd's pie, except that the latter uses ground lamb and not ground beef. In addition to your protein of choice, in this case, that would be your beloved canned corned beef, this traditional, homey British pub food contains garlic, onions, and carrots, as well as tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, and a few other kitchen staples. And of course, it all gets topped with fluffy mashed potatoes. It all sounds pretty delicious, right? It is, and it's a great reason to keep a few cans of corned beef around for those nights when you want something different, but still delicious and simple. Just avoid the pitfalls. <laughs>